Welcome back to another video. This is Jill and this is Cane Bay. And this is where I do a lot of my swimming and snorkeling in St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I'm going to take you underwater again for another little adventure. And I want to show you, I've been wanting to do a coral video for a while. But believe me, I've also intermixed it with some fun surprises. So we're going to go underwater now. And, oh, there's three little bar jacks, the fish. Look how clear. This is a really clear, pretty day. I like watching the waves break from under the water when they're breaking. Woo, there it goes. The waves don't always break in Cane Bay. Sometimes it's just really flat like a lake. But that day there were some waves breaking. And look, this is one of my favorite Elkhorn coral. Oh, it's just magnificent. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, and here's another, here's a little surprise for you. I thought this was a snake when I first saw it. And I was, I've seen it a handful of times in Cane Bay. It's just rare. You don't see these very often. And turns out it's actually an eel. It's a sharp tail eel, otherwise known as a sharp tail snake eel because it does look like a snake. And apparently there are sea snakes and sea snakes. Sea snakes are related to cobras and can be highly venomous. Although apparently they don't always release their venom when they bite. However, this is an eel, not a snake. But but it's called a snake eel because it does, yeah. Anyway, it's pretty cool and it, you know, normally you see them out at night. Like if you go for a night dive, you might see you're more likely to see them. But this was just during the day. He's cruising around and I just love catching things like this that are unusual and here's another unusual thing let's see if you watch my last video maybe your eyes are starting to get trained better because the camouflage is so great with these guys okay you see it now well I've given it away with my what it is here's the little octopus well he's actually a pretty big one and, and talk about camouflage, look at this. Whoop, until you scare him. I got a little too close. I was just letting myself drift in gradually with the, the tide and boom, there he goes. Yeah, when they get scared, they turn white. Okay, these are, well, in the background, there's needlefish. In the foreground, you see a blue tang and the brown one I figured out is a coney. Uh, conies will tell you where the octopus are, by the way, and eels too. So these needlefish like to come in for cleaning stations. See the little striped uh, fish? Those are sergeant majors. And you'll see the sergeant majors cleaning the needlefish. And the needlefish are usually by the surface like this. And I love it because the light rays reflect on their bodies really pretty. Okay, these are palometos, and this is shallow where when there's it's on a wavy day, so it's you're getting a lot of sand churned up. And they, whenever I see them, they're in the shallows like this, and they blend in pretty well. Yeah, there's a good wave. And okay, here's a better view. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. I just think, I just think they're cool looking fish. And they're usually swimming together. Not many of them, like six, seven of them together, I've noticed. A very pretty fish. Okay, here's another Elkhorn coral. Another beautiful specimen in Cane Bay. So pretty. They're like trees underwater. <laughs> I just think they're great. And here's another one. Look at this. This is just a beauty. It's pretty healthy overall, except for the left side. You can see on that left branch where that fish, where the tang is over it, where the, or it's whatever that is, uh, not quite so healthy. Oh, do you see it? There it is. Little lobster poo. <laughs> I love how they use their antennas. So cute. I call this the sea fan garden because there's a lot of beautiful sea fans in this little area. And imagine moving like being in constant movement all the time like you can never just sleep and be still you're always moving that's what it's like living in the shallows i mean the whole ocean is constantly moving 
and the seas. This is the Caribbean Sea here. And look at this purple one. There's one purple one, <laughs> this purple sea fan. There's some smaller ones starting up too now. Oh gosh, uh, this video is not very good of this one, but it's one of the few videos I have of it. I'm actually zooming in on the fish too, underneath it. This uh, beautiful Elkhorn is unfortunately no longer with us. I went away off island for three weeks. I came back and went back out in the water and came to say hi to it and it was gone. And it was spread out all over the, all over. I think a boat must have hit it, which sucks. Uh, so be careful if you're boating, don't go too shallow, watch your engines. And this is fire coral, a beautiful fire coral, a spaded fire coral, um, just extra pretty. And this is another elk horn. Look how flat this one is. This is a pretty big specimen and it's flat like a table. And then it does have some, you know, on the left side and it has some branchy kind of things too. Oh, and this is a fire coral. That's my friend Marianne. And this one, a fishing net got wrapped around it. And look, it killed the fire coral uh, by where, right there where the net is. So we're going to go back and cut it off. Maybe I don't think it'll heal, but maybe. So be careful with fishing stuff too. Oh, do you see this? See this? <laughs> what is it? That's a scorpion fish. I'm going to dive down right on top of it so you get a better view. There you go. Yeah, another one of those camouflage ones. And you always want to look in holes like this for lobster. Leave them though. I mean, if you have to get them, get them. But I tell you, they're so fished out. So you don't want to overfish anything. This is a big blob of sargasm. I, it was such a crystal clear, pretty day. I thought it was just a really pretty shot with the reflection on top of the water. Yeah, sarcastic orgasm, sargasm. <laughs> and this is fire coral again, one of my favorite fire corals. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's all by itself. Okay, and here is a great example of a brain coral. It's round, it has, it looks like a brain when you get up close to it. Oh yeah, and there's Bill, <laughs> my barracuda buddy, Bill. And how do I know it's Bill? because barracuda, and I've noticed this just by observation, have different spots, uh, like markings, under on the lower half of their body, uh, between usually between the uh, pectoral fin and those, those fins in front of the tail. I guess they're, I don't know if they're called tail fins, but... Um, Anyway, and the barracuda can look kind of intimidating because they've got that big underbite and big teeth, but they're usually pretty much puppy dogs, unless you wear something really shiny. Don't wear shiny jewelry, stuff like that in the water because if you're snorkeling around barracuda, because they might get a little curious. Oh, and there's another one. There's his, I don't know if it's his mate or what, but they've been hanging out together lately. Pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's Bill. See the spots? There's two again. This wasn't as clear of a day, unfortunately, but I liked how they were swimming with all the... The jacks swim with the barracuda a lot, the bar jacks, these fish. And But see the spots underneath? So you can identify them because they have... They're different. They're not all in the same place for each barracuda. They're unique. Kind of like a... Um, manta ray you identify manta rays with the spots on their belly side too and their each manta ray has a different pattern of spots and so do the barracuda i've noticed and so bill has two spots in a special place so that's how i know he's bill my buddy <laughs> and i even have squid friends too with special markings it's kind of fun to do that to, you know pay attention to details like that see here's bill and see his he's got two spots first closer to the front of him behind his pectoral fin oh and here comes another one this is not bill because this, see the spots are farther back so not him smaller smaller barracuda too all right well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would appreciate it if you would like 
and subscribe to my videos. You can hit the notification bell too, so you're notified when I upload a new one. I don't do them very often, so it's. I hope it's a treat when I do, and I wish you the most wonderful, beautiful, fantastic day. Much love.